Hello. Deck building by Shane. Everybody does a deck differently. This is how we're doing ours. Um, so So we are continuing to work on our deck today. We got some more two by fours. Um, we got some for free from next door. Our landlord is remodeling the home over there to turn into his business. And they had a lot of two by fours that they weren't using. They'd used it as like a temporary construction fence. So we scored a lot of those. Um, it's not quite enough. So we have a few more that we got from a really great pallet that happened to be made of two by fours, which was an awesome score. And so I think we'll have to buy like eight when all is said and done. So. We went to the store, we got our stain. Um, Shane's sanding what two by fours we do have and we got our two um, <clears throat> four by four by tens. Um, and those are already pressure treated to be used on a deck. So we don't need to stain those, but that's what we're working on today. So uh, we're gonna sand them, stain them, and then zip them in and then our deck's done. So because we only have a pretty small working space to be able to paint um, the boards that are going to make up the deck, we have to go ahead and install these pieces that are painted and cured and ready to go up before we can paint more. So we're going to have like a hodgepodge half deck before a completed one. Um, Shane's filling up a bucket of water right now so we can clean the top of the bus before we install this, although he thinks I'm stupid and we don't need to do that, but it's bothering me how dirty it is. So. Um, we're going to clean it and then we're going to start installing those pieces of the deck so we can paint more pieces and then we're going to install a solar panel today. So how annoyed with me are you right now? Huh? No. You're not? You love me no. so much? Please don't slip and fall. Is that soapy water or just water? Hard to tell when it's so sunny. It is so sticky. Do you hear them on the roof? Yeah. What? Just because it sounds like, I don't know, because sticky stuff is usually nasty. It's like a nasty ass buffet restaurant where everything you touch is sticky. That's what it makes me think about. I don't know, Shane. I'm weird. I'm just going to seal around these edges. Okay. As you can see. It's summertime. I I'm know. Hot. Your nipples are out in every, every shot now. For those of you who like it, <laughs> you're welcome. I love you. You're not gross, but you know. Apparently. You think you got some fangirls out there? No. Nope. As you're dripping sweat all over yourself? <laughs> I bet so. <laughs> <gasps> that was amazing. I loved that. So, um, in one of the Reddit schoolie boards, like the OG schoolie people recommend using the Dynatron 550. Um, it's an automotive seam sealer, so it works better for things like seams on the roof and really anything on the roof and the windows and things like that. Um, we did not find that out until we had already done some regular like household silicone type sealant. So we're gonna have to redo some stuff eventually. But um, if you're in the beginning stages, this is the way to go. Um, it is definitely more expensive, but it will last 10 times as long. That's a random, I don't know. I don't know how long, much longer. 30 times. 3,000 times, 550 times longer. <laughs> I don't know. Shane and I call it Dynatron 5000 because then it sounds like a Autobot or Decepticon. Sounds like a Decepticon. It's a bad guy, Dynatron. Dynatron. Dy Dynatron 5000. Anyway, so we're that's what we're using to seal around these um, 
thingamabobber doohickey schnitzels. What are these called? Brackets? I had to Google it. No, they're called like something something more complicated. Oh, uh, I don't know. They're brackets. I like my name. I should be hired to name stuff. Schnickermabobble. Oh no, it's coming out while I'm sitting here talking. It wasn't. Now it is. I'm just trying to have a comedy show. That's what I'm here for. Shane's the master of coming behind you and redoing your work, or like, make, he's the teacher that is like, ugh, you got it all wrong, let me just do it for you. Which is funny, because I always thought I was the perfectionist, but it's you. And this is also why we do time lapses, because I just yak the whole time and say random stuff. Right, baby? Everything you say is important. It's true. Could you say that louder for the camera to hear? Everything she says is important. That's right. Shane recently learned the happy wife, happy life motto. It's the best thing ever. Yeah. Yep. I like that you didn't even bring sunflower seeds up for me, too. You're gonna place the other one and then we'll screw them on. So now So those are in the little bracket thingies, whatever. These are for um, technically for decks, right? Yeah. So it's galvanized steel, it's rated for being outdoors, whatever. So those, if you remember in our um, deck video part one, which if you haven't seen that, I'll link to it now on the screen, uh, depending on what kind of device you're watching on, and then I'll put it in the description below. But um, those are bolted in um, through the roof, um, through ribs when they can be. That's in through a rib, those are in through a rib. Those are not quite, but there's huge washers on the other side. So this, those aren't going anywhere. The four by fours, we are screwing into the deck pieces because that's really the only option we have given. Three inch deck screws. Yeah, so that's the only option we have. Obviously most decks aren't used to, yeah, see these big old screws. Um, those actually came from a pallet. <laughs> um, obviously decks aren't usually um going through like high force winds unless you're in a hurricane area so if anybody knows if that's something we should be concerned about shane's sighing because he's annoyed that i'm asking that but um he does not seem to be concerned about the screws backing out from the vibration of the bus i'm a little concerned but not concerned enough to not do it but anyway as always guys input from if you if you know let us know okay toss me a tape measure Yes, sir. I just don't want stuff flying off and, you know, killing people. Or so we went so 10 and a half inches back. So that's the king forward. What am I doing? Push this forward. one forward? Yep. Okay, I was going to say, it looked a little further out. More? Yeah. Too much? Good? Ten and a half and ten and a half. Hmm? Ten and a half and ten and a half. Okay. Sweet. Yep. Okay. So then... Do the drill. Because of, because we want it more flat. Yeah, you know, so we want them up like that when you screw it in. Think all of this, you can then, and then you can hold it on. Or all this. So how about these? Because those aren't fire ants in my whole life as a kid. I don't know. Oh. I'm going to 
sticking my foot in the bed. Yeah, he sure did. Dinatron, I thought we were friends. Stop doing me like that, Dinatron! <laughs> Don't move, move! Go, go. Push. Push. I'm not gonna do it. Get out of my way. There you go. Nothing but time. Whee. I don't mean to be slow and annoying. Move, camera. It reminds me in college I had a teacher, <laughs> a professor, I guess, that talked to inanimate objects. Did I ever tell you about her? She'd like be lecturing and she'd accidentally back up and hit the trash can. And she'd be like, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like, it's a trash can. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. okay, so the four by fours are in and now we are going to pack in the two by fours that we have stained, which is only what? One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, not even gonna be like an eighth of the deck, but <laughs> it's what we have done so far. And that gets it up and out of the way so we can finish staining the rest. Hello. Deck building by Shane. Everybody does a deck differently. This is how we're doing our. And you saw the four by fours go down in the brackets. Then we're going to take two by fours just to anchor them in. Um, I'm going to use uh, just a carpenter's pencil here um, just to give us our spacing between each board. So each one will have the same spacing. Um, then I'll just take square, square off the ends so they're even after we get our first one set in our measurements. Um, and that's how we're going to do the whole deck. It's going to be super simple and easy. Um, any questions? Put them in the comments below. Yeah, and the reason we did this, we're trying to do all the things without um, welding. Neither of us know how to weld. Neither of us want to invest in the equipment to weld and we don't want to pay someone to do it and what are the other reasons uh there's enough things we've had to learn we don't want to also learn how to do that that being said i've heard it's not that hard um but we're just not gonna do that so anything we do on this bus will be without welding so um if that's something you don't want to get into either then you know you can see our maybe good solutions for the way we handle things so anyway Look, we got exterior screws. I can see them from that. Or he was just tired of arguing with me about it. So we got their four inch exterior screws. We had three and a half inch, or sorry, three inch screws in. Um, so this thing should not go anywhere now. It wasn't gonna go anywhere to begin with, but.